What up, what up, what up? It's Sunday, and it's uh, vlog Sunday for me. There we go. I don't want to scream in your ears. Ooh. I've had one of those days that was very, very frustrating. It's a good thing I'm not an addict. <laughs> but anywho, I, I, I got a lot of stuff in the background, so it's probably going to be very crappy quality because I'm in the middle of uh, doing some uh, audio video stuff. I don't want to close out everything altogether because then I have to start from scratch and I'll lose my place. But anyway, what's up going on? What's going on? Yogi Zilla here. What's up, people? What's up? What's up? So I wanted to do a speed run real quick uh, while this song in the background's playing. Use that as my marker. I'm talking about a few things. Um, first thing, always save. Always save your work when you aren't working on a computer. Because you never know when the power might go out. A freaking nature may happen, like a tree go through your window, which has happened to me. Or, someone decides to play with the circuit breakers. Yeah, that happened to me today. And good thing I had a backup plan, but I was just about to save some of the work I did. I lost a bit of it. But good thing I had auto recovery set up. Which, you know, it does take some CPU time, but it's good to have auto recovery set up in your stuff. Because it's constantly saving and lets you roll back your changes and stuff. So, oh, always save, always save. I was I was livid, though. I was working so hard on cleaning up some audio and some video and adding some effects and running some filters. And then I'm like, oh, my gosh, did that just happen? And I knew it was the circuit breaker because my computer went on and off real quick. Off and on real quick. Then I asked my wife, I said, hey, I'm pissed off. You know, you know what happened? The freaking power just went out. I was like, oh, I know. She was so blasé about it. And then she felt very apologetic. Like, well, did, did, did you save? Well, I, and I said, well, no, it doesn't matter. The point is, why would you do that? Even if I did save, even if I recover, why would you do that? Well, I thought you weren't in the bathroom. My computer is almost always on processing something, compiling code or some or whatever. You don't just willy-nilly turn off the power. Ugh. Some people... Some people, I love, I love my, I love my family, I love my friends, I love, but sometimes I feel like I need to live in a cave, because people are just getting to that point. Where everybody annoys me. But anyway, horseplay, Ele every 11 p.m. Eastern, 11 p.m. Eastern, at the Obi Wan X2 channel and my channel, Yogi Zilla on Twitch and YouTube. We're live on Twitch on Thursdays, and then we'll go on YouTube, and we're gonna be on Stitcher. That's what I'm working on. I'm working on um album cover. And uh, podcast cover, whatever. I hate calling it a podcast. It's, it's an MP3 la uh, stream, okay? Po Apple came up with the whole podcast. Because <laughs> um, you, you know what? It's not a podcast anymore. You can listen to wherever you want that you can listen to MP3s. There. It doesn't need to be an iPod. Uh, but, you know, if you're getting into podcasting, I'm going to tell you something real simple. Keep it simple. Don't overthink things. Don't worry about how good the quality is. As long as it's... You can listen to it, and the noise is, it's audible, it's crisp enough that people are not straining. Think about your mobile users, because a lot of podcasts I've heard, most of them are really low on mobile devices, so you gotta may want to upgrade up the DB gain. But don't think of, you know, if you are overanalyzing things, and you have to be a perfectionist, and it gets you to the point where you don't get stuff done, stop it. I have that issue, and I have to stop my, my partner and my co-host from doing the same thing. Don't do it. Just jump into it. Get it done. Um, you know, you know, get up with me. I'm on Twitch, Skype, all that good stuff. Um, Yogizilla. So hit me up and we'll collaborate. Um, think about what kind of network you want to be, what kind of show you want to do, all that stuff. But uh, ah, it's easy enough to figure. Blah 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 blah. Okay, I said I was gonna finish before this song ended, and it's already done. <laughs> I'll, I'll do one more song. One more song. I'm, I'm mainly venting. It was really frustrated. I'm like, I've been good about keeping the blood pressure down. But I just, I hate derpiness. And I have the derp, 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 derp. Don't do the derp. Don't hurt the derp. Don't drop the derp. Oh, I don't want to get an ad. 
boob tube. I don't want to get an erd. Skip the erd. Yeah, I mean, right now you have music here in the background. And it's from Technoax, royalty free music. Eventually, I'll do some of my own beats and stuff. But anyways, back to podcasting. One thing you have to think about is if you have really high quality, you're going to take up a lot of space very fast. There are some free hosts out there, but they usually have a limit, like two hours or 100 megabytes. Which 100 megabytes is going to give you about two, two and a half hours, maybe three hours of nice CD quality audio at like uh, 96K or and uh, for sample rate of around 44K, is it? But um, if you do start doing 120K or up, uh, I might be overkill. 128 is, is the best you could really go for, or should really go for. For just a talk show format. 182 is more for like music. Do a lot of heavy music. But a lot of people, you know, everything has to be perfect. They have to, you know, 1080p video and all this stuff. There's a thing about people have to download these things. They're downloading this stuff is going to take that much longer. Uh, then you have to, if you have to edit these things, the bigger the file, the longer it's going to take. So a lot of things to think about. So I thought about a lot of these stuff in the last. But again, don't overthink it. Just, just do it. But I recommend... Start off simple, good mid range recording around 128 because it's easier to scale down than it is to scale up after post production. So, if you have a 128k uh, bit rate for your audio, you're good. And if you're doing video like we do, what I recommend is save on Twitch, try to do a local recording on Twitch, or better yet, a r- audio rip on Skype if you're using Skype. And then, uh, boom. If you don't do a, a live or real time audio rip, then save, do a local recording, or get that video up to a YouTube, and then rip from the video. Um, and I recommend do, using a thing called Any Video Converter, Any Audio Converter from Anv, An, Anv Soft, Anv, weird name, good product. This week I'm gonna be playing Guardian Heroes. If I get around to get anything, because it's been this this day especially, it's, uh, every kind of distraction that could possibly happen has been happening. And it's like I gotta tend to clean up after people that are perfectly grown enough to clean up after themselves. Take the puppies out because you know the kids wanted the puppies, but of course you know where are they? Not, not to take care of the puppies, and that's that's all that one coming. Yep, I'm just venting. This is stuff that happens when you have family, you know, to be expected. Oh no, I guess I'm going through another song. Jesus, I'm talking a lot. This is supposed to be a speed run. I failed. I failed the speed run. But um, what else? What else? So yeah, I'm going to play Guardian Heroes. I'm going to be on Gaming History 101 with Fred Rojas. Goal! And we're going to talk about uh, Guardian Heroes uh, for the Game Club. Uh, Gaming History 101 on allgames.com. That is the network that uh, Horseplay, the Horseplay podcast, was supposed to go on. But uh, we might be doing our own thing because I don't think Derek H. likes me there too much. I've emailed him, tweeted him. And it seems to be giving me a run around. That's fine. I'm trying to help him out, give him some more content. I was going to write for them and everything. And I don't understand. People are weird sometimes. But anyway. Uh, I got giveaways still, but I'm not going to get too into that. Best place to connect, keep up with everything that's going on is the uh, Horseplay Steam Community Group. We'll announce the new website. Any networks we're going to syndicate on, like Stitcher, uh, TalkShoe. Which talk shoe is great. I like it. Um, big shout out to Freeman Daddy, Sean from uh, the Zombie Cast slash Knuckleballer Radio. Which actually Knuckleballer Radio is going on right now. I need to listen to them. Uh, great guy, uh, great people. Normie, uh, Matt, Tedekin from Zombie Cast. He's not a Knuckleballer. Soul Doom, Eli, another Puerto, crazy Puerto Rican like me. Like, there's a lot of good people on all games. Actually, the only one that's really a jerk is kind of Derek H. But we love him anyway. He's he's a uh, he's part, he's like the he Derek H is the way I feel today, but all the time, just bitter and frustrated, and he just calls things how they are. Me, it takes a lot to post me over the edge, and I'm like, Bleh. Bleh. so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, make sure you join our Steam community group, Horseplay. Did I say that? Yeah, we'll announce a website. 
uh, updates with our Stitcher status as a content provider. Um, any uh, syndication we're going to do, any shows we're going to guest spot on. Like I said, I'm going to be on Game Game History 101, so that's one you'll see me on. We're going to collaborate a lot more. I'm trying to get Obi-1X2 to collaborate more and do more cross-promotion. He doesn't quite get it. He worries about the small details. I love the death, but he worries about the small details. Like, you know, legal issues and all this stuff. And those things you don't have to really worry about until you get big enough to really worry about it. But then it doesn't really matter for most people. Because you're already doing the big things. So if you're starting off, just do it. And you'll get better at it as you go along. I've been doing this for a long time and I'm still learning new things. And just, I mean, when I say this, I mean just content marketing of any kind. Whether it's ghost writing, podcasting. Uh, video production, audio production, I mean, I dabble. I, I get my hand at everything. But anyway, guys, thanks for listening to me rant. I'm going to get some more fresh air and hopefully cool off because it's, it's just been a piss of a day. All day. It's just, all it takes is a few things back to back and it, like, it, could set, it could ruin the whole day. It's like one of those days where you just want to go in bed and be like, let me just lay down, take a nap, and get up and maybe the day will be better when I wake up. Nope, I tried it. I couldn't even have a power nap in peace because... People in the house. They go, a bunch of people, people in the house. They could walk the puppies, but they don't walk the puppies. Puppies, little puppies, have tiny bladders. This is why you don't give them that much water at a time. Because if you give them tons of water, they'll drink it all. But they have to go to the bathroom like every 15 minutes. This is, this is a fun fact. I'm gonna add this here. Yeah, this, this should be added to my to my title here. Puppy care. Let's talk about that. Alright. Puppy can. Twitch, why are you lagging? Alright. I'm going to give you a little... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop some knowledge on you guys. Alright? I'm going to even take off the glasses. Let me clean them anyway. I look funny without my glasses. I'm going to put them back on. But let me drop some knowledge on you. A puppy typically is a rule of thumb. A puppy can only hold their pee for one hour for every month of age they have all right that's a very 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 big rule of thumb all right so basically if you have a puppy that's under a month or two chances are you're going to be taking them out to go potty every hour or two uh until they fall asleep for the night and by then you just you don't give them any more water or food for us. They let them take them out for the last time of the night. And then, boom, wear them out, maybe play with them. And then they'll sleep the rest of the night, usually. But, uh, my family decides, uh, let them keep whining. And by the time they're whining, they probably already made a boo-boo in their, in their cage. And they're, they're, we're, crate, we're crate training them, and they're learning really well. But if they're up, just take them out. So they learn, you get up, you pee outside. You don't get up and pee in your kennel. They've been good, but what do you expect? No one's get the puppy's not gonna hold it if they're whining for like 30 minutes and everybody's walking past them, like they don't exist. Oh, they love them when when, they, when it's time to play. But when it's time to, try to, to take them potty, oh no! You do that. You pass the buck. Pass the buck. Pass the buck. You know you do it. You do it. You do it. You do it. It's not right. If it was the baby, but different stories. People don't ignore babies, but when it comes to pets, it's like oh, it's a whole different thing. It's the same thing. They are poor little innocent creatures that do not have a choice in, uh, of how they came into the world and who can, can, can take care of them. So if they end up with an asshole, they're kind of stuck with that. And it's not fair. Uh, people don't ignore a baby if he keeps crying. They try to figure out what's wrong with it. Very rarely, you might, you know, every once in a while, you might get a cycle that like shakes the baby and then the baby dies. Or they, they can't take it and they freak out and they throw the baby against the wall or some crazy stuff. I mean, you hear stories like that. It's sad. It's tragic. I'm not trying to make light of it. You know, but... There is a big bias, you know, between how people treat babies and how they treat pets. A pet starts whining, that's the only way, or they bark, you know, especially dogs, that's the only way they know really how to communicate, and all people say, shut up, shut up, shut up, be quiet. How about you teach them there's other ways to get your attention? Re positive reinforcement works better, all right? This is negative reinforcement stuff. Throwing the dog's face in the in the pee, you know, spanking them and all this stuff. It doesn't work. If you have, if you had ask any dog trainer that's that knows what he's talking about, they're gonna tell you don't do that. 
Where'd my music go? Techno ask. Techno X. Hook me up. There we go. Okay, there we go. That was a quick one, the last one. So yeah, the royalty free music by Techno X with a K. Same thing we use on uh, a lot of horse play stuff. I make some beats too, every now and then. By the way, yeah, Puppy Key, that's a real sore point for me. Uh, and then if you're gonna get a pet, all right, realize this is a huge responsibility. It's not a toy, and it's not something you enjoy.